Hi, I'm Greg Pollock, and in this video, we'll be looking at why the Composition API was created for Vue 3. We'll start by taking a look at the limitations of Vue 2, and then look at how Vue 3 solves these problems for us. There are three limitations you may run into when using Vue 2 to create components. The first is as your components grow and get bigger and uglier, they become less readable and therefore less maintainable. The second is that as you reuse pieces of code across components, each of these code reuse patterns in Vue 2 has its drawbacks. The third is that Vue 2 has limited TypeScript support. There's ways to write it with TypeScript, but they're not completely optimal. Let's dive into the first limitation, which is that large components may be hard to read and maintain. Let's imagine we're creating a simple search component. You know, a search bar that looks like this. Using the regular component syntax, we would create a .view file, which might have a data option with reactive properties, and our methods for our search logic. Once complete, we realize we need some sorting functionality. So we write up the code, which also has some reactive properties and some methods. Our code for each feature, as you can see, is split up between two options. Things aren't too messy, but they would be if we added additional functionality for, say, search filters and pagination. The problem here is that logical concerns, or features, are organized by component options. And there's a lot of component options in view, things like components, props, data, computed, methods, and lifecycle. Our feature code might be divided up into six different places. And if you think about a more complex component, having our code split up in multiple places just isn't as nice as having it all organized together, which makes our component more readable and maintainable. Even in our simple example, it'd be nice if our search code and our sort code was kept together, and Vue 3 makes this possible. Using the Composition API, we can keep our components more readable. This all starts with the new setup method inside of our components. Inside the new setup function is where we can start using the Composition API syntax. And this syntax is completely optional. We can still continue to code up components like we have before, using the regular syntax. I knew when I first saw this, I was saying, wait, does this mean I create a gigantic setup method with a ton of code? And the answer here is no. With Vue 3, you end up writing composition functions. These are outside of your setup method, and they could be in the same component file. Here you can see I have a use search function and a use sorting function. These are called composition functions. And they're called from inside the setup method, as you see here. Don't worry, we'll dive into the details of the syntax later. For now, just know that our code using composition functions can now be organized by logical concerns. I want to point out that this doesn't mean our user interface has less components. I'm not going to be writing each piece of my page in different composition functions. I'm still going to have multiple components for each part of my user interface. The second limitation of U2 is that there's no perfect way to reuse code across components. And let me show you exactly what I mean. Back in our search component, there are three ways we could extract this code for reuse using Vue 2. The first is mixins. With mixins, first we would separate our code, then we'd create a product search mixin, create a result sort mixin, and then include the mixins in our component. I'll shrink this down for simplicity. The good part about this is now our code is organized by feature. However, with mixins, you can end up with property name conflicts. It's not clear if and how these mixins interact, and we can't easily reuse this code to search and sort different things, like maybe if we had a list of reviews or sellers or shipping options. The second solution we might use with Vue 2 is by creating a mixin factory. These are functions that return a customized version of a mixin. Here you can see we have our search mixin factory, and then we have our sorting mixin factory. Then inside of our component, we import these two. Then we use each of these mixins, specifying a namespace and any configuration we need for each of the factories so that it can sort products. 
Now the generic parts of search and sorting can be reused. We also have clear relationships of how our features interact. However, namespacing requires strong conventions and discipline to do right. We still have to look inside each mixin to see what properties it exposes. And mixin factories can't be dynamically generated. Another solution that solves some of these problems in Vue 2 are scoped slots. What might that look like? We'll start out with a generic search component. This has props and it has a slot. We'll also have a generic sorting component, which has props for configuration and a slot. Then inside of our search component, we use these components sending in configuration specific to product search. This addresses just about every downside of mixins. However, it does increase indentation, which decreases readability. Some of our configuration ends up in the template, which ideally should just contain what we want to render. Exposed properties like product search are only available in the template, and having three instead of one component instance means it's less performant. And those are the three ways you could reuse code with Vue 2. However, in Vue 3, we now have composition functions, a fourth way to reuse code. Like before, we have a file for our search functionality and a file for our sorting functionality. These each contain composition functions, which have a new syntax we'll get into in later lessons. Then inside of our search component, we include these composition functions and use them inside of our setup method, sending in any configuration they need. This solution uses less code. It also builds on your existing JavaScript skills since you're already familiar with functions. It's much more flexible than mixins and scope slots. Since they're just functions, IntelliSense autocomplete and typings likely already work in your code editor. The only downside here is that with Vue 3, now there are two different syntaxes for defining components, the regular syntax and this advanced composition API. Hopefully now it's clear why the composition API is so useful in Vue 3, and I'm excited to start teaching you the syntax, which you can dive into on my Vue 3 Essentials course over on Vue Mastery. You can start learning free, and we even have a cheat sheet. See you there.